Hey, welcome back circuit riders. If you missed our last video, we started out our big Canada vacation in New Brunswick here in Shediac. We visited the Hopewell Rocks and the Lobster Festival. And in this video, we're gonna take you on the coastal drive down uh, a little bit of New Brunswick and then we're gonna head over to Nova Scotia. So thanks for coming along. just been taking a leisurely drive around the New Brunswick coast south of Shediac and we found ourselves here at the bridge to Prince Edward Island but we were able to get off right before the bridge at a park called Cape Joramain. It's got a little nature center here. It's a little island right when the bridge starts and um, a little hike out to the lighthouse about 10 minute hike so we're just having a nice afternoon out here. We did stop along the way down here to see the largest sandpiper in the world in Dorchester. Chester, New Brunswick. So just seeing what we can see out on the coast today. Last year we came and did like a whirlwind two-day tour of New Brunswick of the province and I'll link that video at the end of this one if you want to see more details about wider New Brunswick and this area check out that video. Oh, so you get some Acadian family names and there is Cormier which was my uh, great great grandmother who was uh, French Acadian, though born on the main side of the St. John River, but her parents were born in New Brunswick. So here's a, a totem or a tree depicting the history of the Acadian people from 1604 to 2004. It's a nice little historical monument. <laughs> Keep going around and around. All right, that's it for our time in New Brunswick. We are trying to wait out the rain as long as we possibly can. I think we're ready to hook up and head to Nova Scotia. Yeah. It'll be the first time, it'll be our second province, first time in Nova Scotia with the RV. Yeah, nice. I'm ready with my rain poncho. I hate the rain. All right, I'm gonna bring that slide in slowly. Okay, I'm gonna see the water gush off of it. Finally get those windows cleaned.
it's finally a sunny day here in Nova Scotia. We have been battling rain in New Brunswick and Nova Scotia for the past several days, so I'm so glad to be out in the sunshine. We are just taking a drive this afternoon along the southern Nova Scotia coast, west of Halifax. Now there's two very important and famous uh, tourist sites on the southern coast of Nova Scotia. The first is Peggy's Cove, which is about half an hour to an hour west of Halifax. It's a small seaside touristy village, very beautiful. Everybody goes there. There's little shops and restaurants and stuff, very cute. And then about another half hour to 40 minutes down the coast is the town of Lunenburg. Lunenburg is a UNESCO World Heritage City. It is a gorgeous seaside historic town um, with beautiful docks and big red barns and uh, well worth the visit. Now we have already been to both of these sites on a previous trip to Nova Scotia. So we're bypassing them today because we only have limited time in Nova Scotia before we go to Newfoundland. And today we are in the little village of Chester, which is between Peggy's Cove and Lunenburg. Now, why did I pick this town? Well, recently I was in a campground library. Now, most campgrounds have little library rooms. Sometimes they're very small, sometimes they're bigger, and sometimes you can find good little gems in there. So I always like to check out the libraries whenever we're at a campground. And one day I found a book, one of those like thousand places to visit before you die. And this little town of Chester, Nova Scotia was listed in that book. So I went through the book and I marked a whole bunch of different places in Canada that was in the book. And and so since we were near here, we wanted to come over and check out the little village of Chester. Say there's anything terribly unique about Chester other than that it's a lovely little seaside village um, with a nice yacht club and a beautiful harbor here with lots of sailboats in it so we've enjoyed walking around but we're gonna move on to our next destination Oak Island and there's a special mystery on Oak Island that we'll share with you. work out like we thought but we did get a fun little bonus so I was going to take you to Oak Island it's a little tiny island up close to Nova Scotia here sorry I'm so bouncy on this road <laughs> there. and uh, there is a mystery on this island that has been going on since 1795 there's a pit over there called the money pit and in 1795 a man discovered that there was a depression in the ground over there and through many many decades and hundreds of years of excavating and searching and um, just all kinds of stuff going on over there there was a legend that there was pirate treasure buried over there in the late 1600s um, so people have been searching for this treasure ever since and in the course of history have come up all these different legends about what is buried there, how it got there, who was involved, and even up until 2013, there were still excavation companies over there trying to figure this mystery out. Well, Jason and I spent a good part of this morning reading articles about this money pit. And it's just, I'll link one of the articles in the description below this video if you're interested in more because it's just a fascinating story. Um, anyway, I was gonna take you over to the island when we got there and it says that the road is closed to the public. So, I looked up online and it said the interpretive center has been closed for a couple of years. It may reopen next year. You can book a walking tour over there, but just general public is not allowed to go on the island by themselves. So we turned around and we just kind of pulled into someone's driveway to get our bearings and figure out, well, what are we gonna do next? 
Well, while we were sitting there, the owner of the house of the driveway that we were sitting in walked out and uh, kind of, you know, like, what's going on? Do you need help? And we proceeded to have a lovely conversation with him. He told us all about the history of Oak Island. And he actually grew up in St. John's, Newfoundland. So we told him we were gonna be doing a trip to Newfoundland and we talked about that for a while. He asked us if we had heard about the Nova Scotia fires that have been happening recently. And we said yes, when we just drove along the road today on the way out here, we saw some burned out areas of the forest um, that you can see here. And so he was just a lovely man and wanted to wanted to chat. So we had a good chat with him. Yeah, it was fun. We're done being out for the day. We just took a little walk around our campground. This is a lovely campground outside of Halifax, Woodhaven RV Park. We got a really nice pull through spot here. We're only in this spot for a couple of nights and then we're gonna store our RV right here on the property in their storage lot while we are in Newfoundland. Only $5 a night to store it, which is really great. And then when we come back, we'll stay here for another couple of nights. So thanks for coming along with us in Nova Scotia today. Next week, we are headed to Newfoundland. Hope to see you there. Have a great week, guys. Bye.